The B is a pretty brilliant episode of The Middle. This is the 16th episode of the first season. It's directed by Ken Whittingham. And as always, there will be spoilers from now as I go through the episode and share some thoughts. And usually with The Middle, I will talk about the different aspects of the narrative in turn. But with this one, I'm going to go through things chronologically as everything is kind of tied together. So there are spoilers from now as I go through things pretty much in order. And it starts off with Frankie being promoted to customer relations supervisor down at Ellert Motors, which sounds great. It basically means she's writing birthday cards to cars, which becomes relevant because Sue keeps asking Frankie various things about Saturday. And she asks if she'll make her favorite dinner on Saturday. Frankie says she'll think about it at the weekend. She asks if she can have a big sleepover, but Frankie says it's a bit of a crazy week, so not this weekend. And we'll come back to that in a little bit. Mike, meanwhile, is volunteering in Brick's class, and he finds out that Brick actually won the school-wide spelling bee. And it's so lovely to see Mike being really proud of Brick, and he becomes really passionate about helping him and coaching him so that Brick can compete in other competitions. And Brick wins more spelling bees, and he's going to Chicago for this huge spelling bee. And they come into the house celebrating, really proud of Brick. And Sue sings, or starts to sing, happy birthday to herself. Yes, Frankie had spent the week writing birthday cards to cars, as Sue pointed out, but they'd forgotten Sue's birthday, which must be absolutely awful. Forgetting somebody's birthday when you don't live with them is one thing, but forgetting somebody's birthday, their 14th birthday, when they live in the house with you, it's going to sting. So Frankie kind of thinks on her feet, and I have to say, what she came up with was a pretty great idea and a nice way to save things. She tells Sue that Sue can be in charge of the entire trip to Chicago. She can make every single decision about where they sleep, where they eat, and we do spend a little bit of time in the car. I'm not a huge fan of sitcoms or anything where we have a lot of time inside cars. I just don't think as a setting it's that interesting, but we did stop here and there for something to eat, and we stopped off at a... I say we, I wasn't there, but they stopped off at a tree stump, and everything seemed to be quite disappointing, but Sue, to her credit was trying to see the best of the situation. And Mike got a little bit grumbly, mostly because he's so focused on Brick doing well, getting Brick enough sleep at night so he performs well in the spelling bee. He wasn't really giving Sue the attention she deserved or indeed anybody else. He was just focusing on Brick. But he did a really sweet thing. And he went and got Sue some donut holes. And (laughs) a bit that genuinely made me laugh out loud is in the morning when they're in this this motel and Axel has to kind of like spring the bed flat because it folded in on himself. I enjoyed it. It was very funny. And then we have the spelling bee. And as I said, I don't like episodes that focus too much on spending time in cars. And I will say, I think the amount of time we spent in the car was not too bad. The passage of time there was quite quick. We did move on to the spelling bee pretty quickly. And Brick said something that I thought was really sweet. He said, I don't really care about the winning part. I just like to spell. And I feel like that's that's the attitude we should all have when we're doing something. It's more important to love what we're doing than it is to succeed in that thing. Because what's the point of succeeding if you don't enjoy the process and you don't enjoy the journey? And this is kind of what the episode is about. And we get to see the spelling bee. And again, the pacing there, really great. Very well done. And it was lovely to see even Axel was enjoying himself and getting really enthusiastic about Brick. And it was it was lovely to see. And I thought, I'd seen this episode before, but I couldn't remember what happened. And I thought what would happen is that he wouldn't, he wouldn't win because he'd misspell a word. And that seemed like the logical way to take it. But what we got was even better, but also even more frustrating. Because Brick spelled his last word correctly, but then he whispered the last letter to himself. The last letter of the word was a T. I can't remember what the word was. I didn't write it down. But the last letter was a T. And then he whispered the T to himself. And of course, he's technically spelling out another T. And just the way the whole family rushed up. 
to the front to try and explain Brick's whispering. It was it was sweet, but it was frustrating as well. And Brick slammed the microphone down. And honestly, I got a little emotional in the final scene because Brick, they're all in the car, and Brick explains that he, he still didn't care about winning as such, but the reason he threw the microphone down is because he wanted to go to Washington, D.C., which was the prize, because he really enjoyed the road trip to Chicago. And there we have this beautiful family time, and Brick was really the only person who could see the value in that. And I thought that that was really sweet and really moving and, and a really nice way to end things. And just the message about the journey being more important than the destination on most occasions was just really lovely, really well done. Sure, I don't care when we spend too much time in cars, but I think the pacing there was pretty good. And the highlight for me, apart from the overarching narrative, was definitely Axel getting stuck in the bed. It lasted about two seconds, but I really enjoyed it. A really good episode. The B is a pretty strong episode of the middle and one with a really beautiful message.